Alejandro. Welcome to Super Talk Show. It's so nice to have you back. Um, I haven't seen you in a few months. So yeah, welcome to Super Talk Show, virtually. Hello, Eddie. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it's really a great honor being here. And yeah, I'm so happy to see you. I haven't seen you since the Harvard Crimson internship. And <laughs> time went so quickly. Um, so yeah. yeah, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Alejandro. I'm a senior from Mexico. And yeah, basically, we got to meet each other at the Harvard Crimson internship this last summer. And yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Yeah. And, you know, you got Harvard, the Harvard Crimson internship in a very unique way, um, pretty different from most of us. So can you walk us through the process of like you getting that internship? Um, and how difficult was it? Of course, yeah. Um, it all started out earlier this year, around February. I applied to be on the Business Leadership Academy, it is called. Mm -hmm. That is a program that Harvard Crimson makes that is more oriented in the business side of the Crimson. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they basically taught us various things about um, making a business, having ideas, consulting, etc. However, the it was basically a competition like other um, things the Crimson makes. And this competition was basically they give you a prompt and you have teams, various teams. Mm -hmm. Each team makes a solution for that prompt and mm -hmm. the best prompt wins. However, the problem was I didn't actually win. I did make the prompt, but my team didn't win. It was another team. However, either way, what? I applied. Yeah. <laughs> so my, my team didn't win, but okay. I did apply to the internship because Eric was leading and he told us like, you should, you should apply. Like we are making this internship and regardless of if you win or if you don't, we're not um, interested in if you win or not. We're interested on who you are, how you acted as a business person, as a leader, etc. So I was like, okay, I'm going to apply. I applied. And then I found out I didn't win in, on an email. And I was like, okay, I understand there were such great people there that I could understand. Like so many people, um, I could imagine them winning. Right. But at the end, it said like, and congrats too. And there said like four names for winning the internship. And there was like Jesse, Schlock, and myself. And yeah, I was like pretty blown away. I think they chose like a person from each team, maybe. Oh. But I, but I don't think so because we were like eight different teams and only they only chose like four people. So yeah, I was pretty blown away that they go to choose me for the internship. But yeah, I was pretty happy regardless. Wow, that's a really cool story. Um, you know, there was like a turning point in the plot. Um, so what was like, from my understanding, the competition, it's separate from the application for the Harvard Crimson internship itself. And so what question were asked of you on the form like were did you have to like write an essay how do you think they chose the four of you out of all probably the eager and competitive applicants um filling out the form yeah um i remember they asked us what was the business idea you had for the business leadership academy um i believe what was one thing you learned from others and from yourself Mm -hmm. what what could you add to the other interns and if you get accepted like what could you maybe teach them <laughs> and finally this was a pretty unique question that I think it was pretty fun to answer which was if you could have dinner with any person in the world dead or alive or if you know them or not who would it be hmm. And I was like so blown away because so many people answered so different things. Like some people answered like a family member, others like a president, other like a 
public figure and that kind of stuff. And I answered um, one of my favorite guitarists that I really admire. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And speaking of guitar, you know, you have your own band, or I guess you're part of your own band. Um, so how's that experience like being part of a high school band, I'm assuming? Yeah, um, it is great. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, I also play guitar and a friend of ours that also sings. So we were like, we should start a band. And like the three of us started out. And then when we started to do more serious and difficult songs, mm -hmm. we said like, well, we need a bassist and a drummer. So mm -hmm. we m met those people at school. They are from other generations. And yeah, we invited them and we we're pretty good friends. We hang out a lot of the time. And now we're starting out doing live shows. So a few days ago, we made a, a live show in school. And actually tomorrow we have a concert in a public space. So it's pretty well, well, how many audience are there? Like, do you get stage nervous? <laughs> yeah, at the beginning I did. However, um, I don't anymore. Like I get excited to get out there and play. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I get like more nervous once I finish. Like all the adrenaline like goes down and once you finish you're like wow i just did that so yeah it's pretty unique feeling i think mm -hmm. wow that's so cool um yeah so i have no more questions about your band maybe oh i i do have one more question about your internship so what did you fill out for the question what can you add to other interns um, during the internship? Yeah, um, well, to anyone hearing this, when you get asked, like, what can you add to others? Mm -hmm. Because they just ask, like, what can you add to others? Oh. I also like to say, like, what they can add to myself. Um, so I said, being from Mexico, I can show others a little bit from my culture, from my personality, um, maybe my leadership traits mm -hmm. in the sense that if we all work together, like um, mm -hmm. provide like a safe environment where mm -hmm. I feel like others can trust me and I can trust others. And yeah, in general, I was very excited to enter also because I wanted to learn from other cultures because there were so many people from other countries and um, with various different personalities. So I, I was very excited to learn from each other and how we solved this business that was the Crimson. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to touch on like what you just mentioned. You know, we had this whole experience. Um, be it in Harvard Crimson or in the Harvard Crimson building. So like speaking in hindsight, um, how, how, like, how would you describe that experience? I know it's wonderful, it's great, but what, like, what makes it stand out from an ordinary summer? And why would you encourage other students to also apply to an internship next year or next, next year? Yeah. Um... It, is re it was really a great experience, like unreal. Even, <laughs> sorry, um, even to today, yeah, like I can't believe I that was actually real. Yeah, and I think it was mainly because the fact that Harvard is such an iconic mm -hmm. and well-known institute <laughs> that so many people dream to go to, and like to actually be there, like, Mm -hmm. even not for college but just for an internship was like I'm really thankful I got that opportunity and yeah um, in comparison to any other um, experience I've had over my last summers mm -hmm. I think going to Boston for the first time and seeing Harvard for the first time and I think the most surreal experience was also 
being with Harvard students and seeing <laughs> like how they actually were because I was afraid that maybe they were like these super intelligent and yeah. hardworking people and although they are I mean they were normal people like they became our friends and people we could talk to them about music games and like day-to-day -day problems food and I overall it was such a great experience to get to meet these people and work with them in such an iconic space that was the Crimson. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I can totally relate to everything, especially being in, you know, in the same building with you and also the other um, business managers, associates. Um, yeah, definitely. And hot take, I asked this to everyone I interviewed um, from our internship. Do you prefer no. the business side of things, like the business board, or do you mm -hmm. like the content more? You know, it, it it's oh. a difficult question um yeah especially like after experiencing everything after sja you know summer journalism academy yeah totally i i agree that that is a difficult question um however based on that i won the internship thanks to the business leadership academy oh. and that we got to work on the business board mm. i gotta go with the business side yeah mm. although i did enjoy like the writing part and the journalism part that is like so incredible how fast they work however the business side was more fun to me I think oh yeah and about that can you share like your experience with the content we all had different activities like I was shadowing an article they wrote based on like a the faculty of science and art um response to an annual survey the crimson sends out mm -hmm. So what was your experience and who was your, um, who was the person you shadowed? I shadowed Isi, Isabella, oh. who, yeah, and she's a really amazing writer. She writes so fast, like I couldn't even like, um, for example, like she writes like five articles a week or something like that. Like she writes a lot and like, yeah, she told me she was the writer who wrote the most for the Crimson at that time. Yeah. And I like just seeing how she worked was pretty amazing. And of course, getting to know her in person once we went. Mm. Um, uh, she, she is such a um, creative and good working person. Right. And so like, what was, what article did you guys write together? Like, what, what was it about? Yeah, well, actually, as you said, we all have, like, pretty different experiences. So I didn't get to write an article mm -hmm. while shadowing her. Um, I only wrote during the Summer Journalism Academy. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, I mainly, like, just took tips and other research um, abilities from her. But yeah, regardless, it was a pretty good experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I ran out of questions. Um, but one last thing for I asked every single super talk show guest I ever interviewed. Um, if you can leave one piece of advice to our super audience, like maybe a quote from you as a guitarist or maybe a, Har a former Harvard mm. Princeton intern, um, what would it be? Good question. Um, well, I guess at the moment I've been pretty busy with all these applications for, for colleges oh. and all this stress mm -hmm. that has been applying. And tomorrow is actually the early action deadline. So today is like, mm. yeah. So today and tomorrow is like a massive day for me I've been waiting for. So the one thing I can tell you is Many people say to enter your dream school, you need good luck. However, for me, good luck is the mixture of being prepared and having a, an opportunity. So always be prepared, always work hard. Oh, uh, yeah, always be prepared. So when for the opportunity comes, you have that good luck, let's say. Mm. So, yeah. That's what I can say to anyone applying to college right now.
and for when you apply. Mm, wow, that's a really cool advice. And if I can ask, um, mm -hmm. how like how busy is senior year? Like from one to ten, <laughs> <laughs> if you can give it a number. Well, maybe from the actual senior year, mm -hmm. it's been a pre pretty relaxed year, I can say, like a six. However, because it mixes with the college application, right. like a 10, like immediately a 10, because you're starting like for the SATs, if you're taking them, um, you're writing your essay, you're mm -hmm. applying and investigating, you're doing all these extracurricular, extracurricular things. Um, and besides that, you're starting for exams, projects, homework. So yeah, it's a pretty nine out of 10 year, I'd say. Wow. Well, good luck, Alejandro. Um, I'll let you go now. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, Today's Halloween, so it's a pretty chill day. Yeah. Halloween. Um, yeah. So good luck on your November 1st early application deadline. And thank you so much for being on Super Talk Show, sharing all these advice and talking about your experience getting the Harvard Crimson internship. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was really fun being here. So thank you. Thank you.